so I'm documenting uh, my experiment with a heater that we carry with us but has never been tried. We have um, the empty unused uh, paint can. I have some Crisco, uh, the small can, which I'm opening up, and uh, a piece of paper. So, according to lore, what you can do is use the paper to make a wick. By twisting it as tightly as possible. And then measuring it, that's about right. I'm going to take off just a little bit. Maybe I'm going to take off a little bit. Uh, and stick it all the way down into the center of the Crisco. There. And I'm going to smear the Crisco over the top to saturate the paper. <clears throat> We're going to light it. And I'm going to put this into my paint can so that not only is it safe from safer from being knocked over, um, but also that the uh, metal will absorb the heat. So I'm going to, can you see down into there? Um, can I show you my lovely candle? So the experiment is, we know that this will work as an emergency light and we know that it will, has the potential to burn for days. Um, and uh, and this is helpful, um, but I want to see if it will change the temperature, if it will maintain or change the temperature, hopefully heat up um, the car enough that if we uh, put water bottles beside it, that they wouldn't freeze overnight in an emergency situation. Um, so I'm going to um, check it right now. It's not a freezing cold night. It's uh, 40 degrees. Um, on my keychain, I have a uh, an emergency whistle and um, little uh, temperature gauge and it has some other things that uh, has um, a magnifying glass for fire starting. <clears throat> um, right now it says it's 40 degrees out here. So we'll see if we can warm up. So here we're sitting time later in the car. Um, I'm cozy and comfortable. I take the temperature above the canister and it's 80 degrees. It's putting off some smoke, but the air exchange um, from the natural uh, ventilation in the car is providing enough uh, exchange that I'm not coughing or um, smelling like smoke. Uh, the pushing the candle up against the side of the, of the can, um, if you can see how I did that, meant that the flame was closer to the metal and so it allowed for um, the heat exchange to work out better. The other thing that I would say is we do have the can lid that could be pressed down on top of it if we put some holes, if we put some holes in it to allow for oxygen. And so um, there, that would be another way to maintain the heat. But so far this has been a great experiment and I would encourage you to think about putting some Crisco in your car.